welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh yeah had a overwhelming desire to <laughs> do another heavy haul with the uh panga in heavy haul mode and uh could be an interesting one 327 miles we we're in uh uh yellowstone park west yellowstone well actually down here it uh, this or that k and d site is if you do the heavy haul or a heavy what do you call it um special transport there's that helicopter pad and you can bring a helicopter in this way in the uh, special transport but we're going to missoula and oh it looks like we're going up the logging road oh boy last time we went the back way i think this time we're going to go the front way all right we best get moving because it's going to be a bit of a challenge getting this big old thing up there and it's heavy 106,500 pounds we got 805 horsepower here so let's uh, get on let's see how we make out CSCS CS, uh, triple low boy got retros on the trailer and got Jaspers on the truck and I'm just a little short on time <laughs> so I would have put Jaspers on the trailer because I've been liking them more lately But yeah, this thing is a business. Looks pretty good. Has a heavy haul and traffic didn't count on that where you get going wait for these guys all day how wide is this oh yeah we'll throw the beacons on get our headlights on Gonna have to ring this thing a little bit harder than we normally would, but it's a 3406B, it can handle it. I got a good bottom end, according to uh, my brother, the diesel mechanic. Thanks, are full. Feeling good, ready to rumble here. Until I wasn't. <laughs> oh, we don't have to stop on the way out. That's good. You get to, to yards, turn right. hmm, I'm trying to remember if you go there in the default game or if turn that's right. ATS expansion. Oh, maybe 
think we'll time this right. Jeez, uh, yeah, we don't. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Oh, a camper's gonna pull in. Oh, shoot. Uh, between a rock and a hard place here. Quite a view out the windows. Guess I shouldn't have been too eager to get in front of that camper. Wow, huge stutter. That cement truck sit still. Hang on, buddy. Good man. Oh man, sharp corner here. Hate that. Get all the momentum built up. And off it goes. never did get a chance to do any more work on this skin. I think I'm going to change it to a symmetrical flames on the hood though. Get rid of those asymmetric flames and Catching traffic up ahead. I am surprised. Beautiful through here, though. This road is pretty epic. A waterfall straight ahead there. get called into this scale up here. I think it's kind of an ugly little thing for a big load. Way station one mile. Well, let's see, how would we do it? I guess we'd have to go past it and go in. See if we can get the whole trailer in there. It says it's open. Oh, oh yeah. Shoot. Maybe. No, we could go in. Ah, uh, yeah, do not enter. Shoot. Oh, 
Okay, we're gonna grab a bit extra lane here. Oh, there's a car there. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Not just yet there, Lori. Better hop in so we can do this right. I have no idea I didn't do the math here. I've been too busy driving. 162, 483. After 100 yards, turn left. I got the truck for the job. Across the line didn't stop them this time. Can't look at them all. Jeez. Louise. Oh well. It's not like we're gonna be out accelerating them anywhere. There we go. So I um, didn't make as much progress as I wanted to today on the car, on the caddy with the water pump problem. You mentioned uh, previously, I, or if I did, maybe I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Maybe I didn't. Hmm. Got the, it took me almost close to three hours to get the water pump out because it's kind of buried with all that stuff I have under there. The uh, that serpentine conversion I built and all that stuff. Lots of things to get out of the way. And, uh, you know, um, electric fan and gotcha. connections and the uh, Hall effect sensor to pick up the signal from the 36 tooth wheel and. Oh, look at. Oh, <laughs> decorative deer. But anyway, um, lots of stuff to get off. And today was, I used brake cleaner to clean stuff and I had to go get some more. Got some engine paint to repaint the plate, the adapter or the uh, serpentine conversion plate as it's showing a bit of wear. The front of the engine actually looks okay. I cleaned it up this afternoon. Um, I didn't clean the mating surfaces for the water pump yet. Uh, started cleaning that plate up and... Oh yeah, what I was going to say was running around. God dang it. I had to go to uh, Greg's Distributors and... It was... Uh... Oh man, I'm missing these gears. I phoned it in. So it'd be ready when I went there to pick it up. And they couldn't find it. So that was a dog and pony show. I wasted an extra half hour there. And then what do we do? Went to Canadian Tire to pick up the uh, um, Canadian Tire. It's kind of like your O'Reilly's, I guess, in the States. So anyway, I had to pick up the uh, engine paint and the brake clean and 
Uh, I lent somebody my uh, OBD onboard computer reader thing years ago, and I never got it back. I can't remember who I lent it to. So I had to go get another one. Because they got to diagnose some codes on our Jimmy. And got that. And what else? Some right stuff gasket maker. And got back home and... By the time I got the car jacked up and front of the engine cleaned off and got a start on the other bits, it was time to put her back down on the ground and push it back into the garage. Kind of disappointing. doing 213 miles to go man that looks like another traffic light way up there and then we'll be on the highway let's see Missoula <laughs> gotta get off and go over that might not be too bad I think we'll have one traffic light at least unless we get a right turn at it that would be cool I'm not sure going this direction might be all right Kind of glad this thing doesn't have a pyrometer. <laughs> We'd be uh, putting it in the red with uh, how we're driving it. Jeez, two more lights. Turn before the light. No, no, we don't. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. This chain's on the rack. They're uh, animated, but I don't think the tire chains are. No, just the ones on the rack. That's the tire chains are leaning against that rubber protection against the fuel tank. I guess that's the story on them. It's not a bad go at making tire changes better than most. Which truck is it that has them just... I can't believe it, how goofy it is. Uh, I hate to say it, it might be that Borman? I'll have to look before I say for sure, but the, it's it. Where you put chains, they've got a rod sticking out straight out the chassis perpendicular in front of the rear tires and they got chain wrapped around it like oh my god i've never seen such a thing in real life can't imagine it i'm not 100 percent sure what it's supposed to be like what what are they they're not tire chains they're chains like it's huh <laughs> just a real puzzler Should be making time now. We're actually going to get this thing up to highway speed.
I guess the one thing I didn't change on this when I was doing the heavy haul deal with it was the final drives. They're awful tall for this job. I guess the good thing is, like, uh, in reality, we would be, if we go right here, where we're in one-to-one -one now. I'm pretty sure with this final drive, that's a, in the overdrive, rather, that's a double over. So now we're in direct, straight out the back of the tranny. A little easier on it. I've never taken a photo along here. I'm gonna see if I can grab one here. See what it looks like and it's not too good. We'll grab another one. Oh, look at this up here. Big rock wall. Oh, it's not so it's taking a photo. We got something really goofy going on here. With the uh, oh truck and how it's optioned, I guess. What do we do here? Stay to the right and go left. Oh, stay in the road, dude. I'll show you the goofy thing here in a minute. No, just stay going here. I wonder if I'll be able to see it. We'll uh, hop out when we can. There's, you know, those chains that are hanging on the rack, those ones that are uh, animated. There's a couple of them about 30 feet above the truck. Look at that. <laughs> what the heck? I mean, it's good to have lots of extra chains. Just, you never know when you're going to need them, but how do you get those down from there? <laughs> yeah, I need me an extension ladder. Sky hooks. scale oh my god you guys some better be easy to get in looks like it's on the right oh don't have a lane there Try, what if we can do it right here? We get going slow enough here. Try and set Snowy Moon a little. There we go. Sixty-two thousand pounds. Lower end of it, though. Return to the interstate. Sure, okay. I guess that that sign might say, "Pull around back and report." Bring in your papers. The documents, I guess they call it. I don't know what they call it down here. I've never driven in the states. Um, commercially. Oh, 
shoot. What's gonna happen here? Probably gotta pull off here right away. No? It's cool, they got Dylan on the sign back there. And that's the uh, road construction site is home to Dylan that ATS expansion put in the other the Kiewit site there we went to it a couple times now who did a did we do I'm trying to remember a pickup and a drop-off or both drop-offs This is a fun drive. I could just do this all day long. Drive this truck and heavier loads. Gonna have to, I uh, can't, well, I'm in 151, so I can't wait to, uh, you know, guys like uh, 850 Modding and Pizder and everybody get their trailers up to 151 so you can pull more, get more variety in heavy haul definitely be doing more with this truck at least in my own time maybe later today in the uh, live stream might just start with this thing hmm that might be a little boring for you guys so well, we'll figure it out we'll do something exciting speaking of which if you can swing it tune in if not catch it later on on the recording scare that guy no he's all right don't spook them yet now we got to be turning off here it's gotta be it or not oh yeah we are okay so we're gonna gonna turn right at that traffic light up here or do we oh no we swing around and it's over there so we don't get to bypass it I don't know if I've ever turned off here on this ramp before. How do we get through this light on the first go? Probably not. <laughs> oh, I mean, they're cutting it close again, guys. It's, uh, what is it? It's 626 Friday night. I haven't had my supper. 
I got to render this video and potentially get it uploaded in the next, well, it looks like 33 minutes now before the live stream, uh, the Friday night live stream starts. Jeez. The heat is on. Supper's going to be a slapdash affair tonight. Oh, down here it has 1,005, 840 on the uh, Trekkie overlay for the weight of the load. And up here it's 106, 500. I wonder why the difference is. So Sim Dash, like, where are they getting the information that it's so different? way up that mountain. I've had a few uh, triple low boys up here. That shouldn't be too out of the ordinary. Pretty sharp turn down there. After 100 yards, turn right. Don't uncover right. too much of the lane. We'll get that guy driving up beside us here. Might drag that trailer through the ditch a little bit, but... Oh, looks good. I don't have the diff lock on. That could be a problem. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot, you know what? You better put the diff lock on, because I think there's a left turn on a... up here. On one of the corners and it goes up. Uh -oh. This corner right here. Take it. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought. this time. I don't think we're going to try for another gear. And breathe the throttle a little bit here. Let it uh, really get too hot.
Ooh-wee. That was a pull. Oh, we can't do that. We can't back it up. Uh, oh, that's nice. Straight ahead. Good. That's cool looking uh, heavy haul truck, that's for sure. Tug grinder running away in the background over there. Well, that was good. I enjoyed that a lot. 36, excellente. Well, I hate to hit and run, guys, but I gotta go. So I gotta get this thing uh, rendered up at the very least before uh, the live stream. I can upload it after the live stream tonight. So, uh, as always, really appreciate you following along. Um, oh darn it, you know, we've got a couple new uh, patrons and they've got to get that, uh, oh shoot, um, we'll get you up on the uh, scoreboard there tomorrow, uh, it's for Sunday, and uh, thanks very much for your contributions, really appreciate it. As always guys, take care, we'll catch you on the next one. And bye.